Now that you understand the basic reference file process, let's take a closer look at the reference file tools. Before we do, keep in mind that the standard manipulate tools can also be used on references. So in other words, so long as you have a reference selected in the references box, you can use any of the tools in the manipulate toolbox. Now I'm going to look at the specific reference tools by popping up the tools list. Now attach, you already know since you've used that to attach this title block drawing. Detach and detach all or detach the currently selected reference attachment from the current master file. There will therefore be no link between the two. We can reload a selected file or reload all of the attached files. And you do this if you knew, for example, that the title block in this case had been edited elsewhere and there was new information on the title block. If you now reload it at this point, then the new information on the existing title block file will be updated in the master drawing. We can exchange, meaning that we will exchange the current master file with the attached title block file and we'll open up completely the title block file. So in other words, we lose our contact with the current master file and we switch to the title block file. Along with that goes open in new session, meaning that we can open the title block file in a new session of MicroStation. So we have two sessions of MicroStation running side by side. And this actually works quite well for many different things. It's very useful, for example, for copying information between two separate files. Activate, you've already seen. This will essentially open the attached file to us so we can edit that attached file in place. Deactivate opens when we have activated a file. Again, we looked at that in the previous video. Standard move, copy, scale, and rotate. Essentially the same as the manipulate toolbox. Merge into master means that we can merge the T block file totally into this master file and we lose the connection to the T block drawing file. This works well if you know that the T block file will not be changed and you want to place its elements totally in this master drawing with no connection back to the original T block file. The other two are not available to us. Mirror horizontal, mirror vertical, pretty straightforward. Now the next section are all clips or masks. We have a clip boundary and a clip mask available to us, but the last three are not available yet. Delete clip will be available when we've placed a clip and clip front and clip back are 3D tools. So they won't activate in this 2D drawing file. Let's look at the clip boundary and the clip mask. I'm going to use the tools on the header line here just to get you a little more familiar with the tool icons. This is the clip reference file, but first we need to identify what needs to be clipped. And a clip is exactly the same thing as cutting out, say, a coupon for a product in a newspaper. You cut the coupon out, you take the coupon away with you, you leave the newspaper behind. That's what happens here. We are going to clip out an area of the title block, leaving that on the screen, whereas the rest of the title block disappears. Now the title block is still there, it's just hidden. We need, first of all though, to apply a fence. So I'm going to place a fence, and I'm going to place a fence around the title block here. I'm going to snap to that corner, drag the fence over, and I'm using a manual snap here, by the way, which is necessary. There's my fence. Now I can start the clip tool. The prompt says accept reject, so I will data point to accept. And now I see the title block, but not the surrounding edges of the title block. So I clipped out just this title block part of it. Now to undo that, you use the next tool, which has highlighted now, delete clip. And with any luck, this will work. And I'll tell you why in a second. So I'm gonna try this. It highlights the clip. I will data point to accept, and we're back. It's worked just fine. Now what you might find, if you have the first version of the SS3 update from MicroStation, you might find that that particular tool won't work, in which case you have to use a key in. And the key in is 
reference clip delete. There's a glitch in the software which is being fixed and may well be fixed by the time you download your copy of MicroStation. Just keep that in mind. It can be very frustrating trying to delete a clip and it's not working. As a matter of interest, let's go back to the clip tool and look at the tool settings window. Now I placed a fence, so I would use the active fence method, but you could also place an element and use that as the clipping area. Now in my case, with the title block, there is no existing element that surrounds this part of the title block. So a fence is the most obvious choice here. But you could place a specific element purely for the purpose of clipping or masking an attachment. Let's try the other tool, which is mask a reference. And this does exactly the opposite of the clip tool. Now my fence is still in place. So I can accept that fence. And this time, you'll note that I have masked the information inside the fence. But my text is still visible because that text is in the master drawing, not in the attached title block drawing. So I can pick these up and move them out the way if I need to, because they're not part of the actual attachment. To undo that, we use the same delete clip tool, data point. And we're back. Now this one does work for the mask tool. As I mentioned, it might possibly not work for the clip tool, depending on your MicroStation version. Try this process for yourself. Try clipping and masking different parts of the attached title block file and explore the process.